Hey! Today, I'm going to show you an overview of Spaces EDU. Are you looking to provide a more holistic approach to learning? One that helps build student agency and confidence while placing students at the center of their learning journey? That's why more and more schools across the country are moving towards competency-based education. And that's where we come in. Welcome to Spaces EDU a digital portfolio and proficiency-based assessment platform built to support personalized competency-based education. Let's dive in for a quick overview of what the platform has to offer and how to get started. When you first log into Spaces EDU, you're greeted with different space types. Whether you're looking for a space for group work, whole class collaboration, or private reflection and personalized feedback, the platform is designed to mirror how you teach. Let's explore each space type now. This is the class space. Here, my students and I can share classroom experiences with each other and with families. This week, we are reflecting on physical education. I just posted a prompt asking students to reflect on what they enjoyed the most about our ropes course field trip. My students can share their thoughts by creating a post with audio or video recordings and their classmates and families can listen, react, and offer feedback. Each post or comment I create or my students create can have up to 10 media files, including pictures, video, audio, and files from their device, Google Drive, or Microsoft OneDrive. This allows me to share learning and feedback in a way that meets all my students' needs and gives them the voice and choice in how they decide to show what they know. Today in class, my students brainstormed alternative endings to a book we're reading. I've captured this brainstorm and I want all my students to have access to it, long after those post-its have been recycled. I'm placing this in the class space and I want my students to vote on their favorite ending as part of my lesson opener tomorrow. In addition to the class space, you can create group spaces for your students. These spaces can be assigned manually or randomly and can include any size group depending on your use case. Group spaces are great for differentiation. You can create a space for group projects, reading groups, peer feedback. The possibilities are endless. Let's pop into a one-on-one -on -one space. Like group spaces, you have the flexibility to assign them to select students or all of your students. This one-on-one -on -one space is where the various education stakeholders supporting Jack can document his IEP goals and Jack can document his progress. Going into Jack's space, I can see his work and how he's progressing towards his goals. Each post has unlimited opportunities for reflection and feedback. And because this is a one-on-one -on -one space, only Jack, his teachers, and his invited family members can see these posts and comments. I think that this post shows tremendous growth, so I'm going to bookmark it. That post I just bookmarked automatically got sent to the reporting space. You can see it here. The reporting space is like a visual report card that showcases growth. Rather than reporting being an event in time, it now becomes an ongoing process, making reporting season easier for you and keeping students and families informed about progress well before that final report card goes out. No more surprises at report card time. Speaking of reporting, let's briefly check out two tools to support proficiency-based assessment. The first is the proficiency report. This allows me to easily track my coverage of standards, get a sense of how my students are performing across the class, and see where there are opportunities for reteaching. When I filter by student, I can see the learning artifacts tied to each standard. This is great for engaging in one-on-one -on -one conferences with students and starting an open dialogue about learning and growth. Next up is the growth book. This is your proficiency-based gradebook. The growth book allows you to quickly add your assessments with the associated standards and then assign proficiency levels to each standard for all your students. 
We all know the important role families play in student success. With the messages feature, you can easily communicate with families and help engage them in the learning journey. Leverage one-way and two-way messaging features to share multimedia learning updates and choose whether you want to send messages to select family members, all family members, or families and students. With student QR codes, single sign-on, rostered classes including family emails, and web and mobile applications for all users, getting started with Spaces EDU is a breeze. This has been our introduction to Spaces EDU. Now it's time for you to get started in helping all learners showcase their growth.